You have made it to Steak TikTok. No more e-boys dancing. You have made it back to e-boys dancing TikTok. No more steak dancing. I mean, this like looks good for pictures, but I mean, if you really want this to be functional, we need a big highway just coming through here. Get rid of the bikes, get rid of the tr If your hand turns really red, you killed someone in a past life. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm-mm-mm. Today drained me. Y'all do not ask anybody that works at Claire's if they do clip piercings because they don't. Somebody told me that they did and y'all lied. Oh! Why is your pussy so hairy? Like, who told you that was appealing? A poop in peace. I'm not understanding what's going on. One minute, mommy's, mommy poo poo. Just one, one minute. One minute, please. Okay, you. Yo, what the fuck is neurodivergent? Like, I'm not gonna die a virgin, bro. That's not gonna happen. Hey, do you want a beef nugget? Oh, no, I'm good. I have celiac. Oh. Well, like, you could have just said no. You didn't have to fucking trauma dump. I was like, bitch, fuck you! <laughs> 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 what flavor is that? Vanilla. Ooh, I want a spoon. Okay. No. I want a spoon. Damn, you fine as hell. Hey, yo, uh, think I can get you? Bloody slice! Oh my god, bro. Oh, oh hell no, nah, man. What the fuck? Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. I'll never have to kill again. What are you talking about FDA approved? What do you mean FDA approved? Stop this madness. What do you want from me? What do you want? Please! Did you hear about the guy that dipped his balls in glitter? Pretty nuts. I don't know who in the factory at Lil Bites, but look at this. I know they got fired. I know they did. When you want to start eating, but the camera has to eat first. I'm hungry. If you ever have, if you ever having a bad day, just 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 remember that they're just just to kind of piggyback off what he's talking about. Um, realistically, at the end of the day, if we all, uh, well, I mean, sometimes. I don't know who can relate to this. I'm not meant to be an employee, and I'm not meant to be an entrepreneur. I'm meant to be a rich ass cute bitch, and that's it. I don't know how I'ma do it. How I'ma do it? But that's what the fuck it's supposed to be. Good day, the fuck. We are tired, dude. The anxiety, the Gen Z are depressed, and the kids are screaming. Woman morning. I want to know what my new sexuality is. Let's see. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, bisexual. You know, that's kind of close, weirdly enough. Hmm. Because sometimes I'm like, hey, bitch. And other times I'm like, what's good, ma? <laughs> I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures of items and I would love it if you would tell me what you would call them where you live. Alright. I am originally from the northeast of England. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Okay, let's get started. Starting off strong with these, we would call these sand shoes. Sand shoes. What would you call them? I call them, what the fuck are those? One of the weirdest parts about growing up is being older than a man with a beard. Because every time I see a man with a beard, I'm like, okay, you are at least a decade older than me. 
But they're not. They're like 19. They're 21. They're babies. They're ba- They're hairy little babies. And they should be 34. Oh, you were so small as a baby. I'd give you baths in the kitchen sink. I never did that with your brother. Oh, was he too big and he couldn't fit? No. By the time your little brother was born, we had already installed the dishwasher. So I told this girl her son was beautiful. It was a baby. I was like, oh, he is so beautiful. And she was like, handsome. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, she was like, oh, he always gets mistaken for a girl. And I was like, well, I know he's a boy. I looked at his clothes, but boys can be beautiful too. And she was like, no. She's like, no, handsome. I got Havana this little Tinkerbell costume at the Disney store. Yeah, I was like, why is it like this in the front? Like, why? Like, how is she supposed to cover herself? Well, guys, it's a dog costume. I didn't realize that until I put it on her. It's a dog costume. <laughs> Hey you guys, so today I'll be showing you this steak tortilla wrap dinner that I created today. Not only is it so delicious, but it's very healthy for you. It's anti-inflammatory, filled with antioxidants, boost the immune system, you'll grow wings out of your ass, awaken the monkey kill shedding gun, obtain the lava style keke genkai, and it's also anti-aging. As a matter of fact, you'll be reversing time and you'll become a kid again. And on the sides, you have pinto beans that gives you the abilities of the sorcerer supreme, and also orange rice that gives you access to chaos magic. And I'm drinking rice cinnamon spa water that gives me powers of a black panther and I become the Nine Seals Jinjuriki. Um, I just found out homeboy from fucking Euphoria was fucking British. Now how many more fucking British people gonna run around act like fucking Americans? I'm not saying I rep America, but it's nothing more fucked up thinking like, oh, there go another white American. Uh, pip pip cheerio! Pip pip cherry who? You lying son of a bitch! I'm a pip pip cherry on my fist up your fucking ass! I'm tired of the lying, I'm tired of the scheming, I'm tired of the scamming. Every time I turn around, oh, there's another British white person uh, uh, popping and migrating from the clear blue fucking sky. Like, don't you dare pip pip cheerio me, motherfucker! After you lie like that, you gonna pip pip cheerio who? I went to a new restaurant today and when the waiter asked me if I'd been there before, I told him the truth and said no. And so instead of like explaining the menu that was describing like their specialties or maybe what like different dishes include or mean on the menu, he explained to me what a menu was. He told me that the starters were appetizers, the specialties were the main dishes and that the sides on the menu would be anything additional I would want with my meal. Um, it was very strange. I don't know if he thought I said that I had never been to a restaurant before rather than just the one I was sitting in. Um, but I do now fully grasp the concept of a menu. Well, hello there. One of my favorite things to do is call white people Negroes to their face. For instance, I was at a restaurant and I go up to a white server and I say, excuse me, Negro, do you know where the bathroom is? They look around. No black people are in sight, so I must be talking to them. They look at me in bewilderment and confusion. They think to themselves, aren't they the Negro? I looked at him and I said, did you hear me, boy? His eyes widen. He's aghast. The roles have turned and he doesn't know how to handle this mouth tremors as he turns and points his finger toward the bathroom and says it's over there. I smile at him and I take a quarter out of my pocket and I give it to him. Why don't you go down there to that negro child in the street and buy you some lemonade I say. I use the bathroom I came out and I left the restaurant smiling happily.
All right, we're gonna be ranking fast food places from one to five, and I can't go back after I rate them. So first one is going to be, mm, I've never had Bagel Nash before, uh, so I'm gonna put that at a five just because I've never had it. Okay, next one is Wimpy. I've never had Wimpy before, and I'm gonna put that at four because I've never had it. So that's awkward. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put Little Chef at three because I've never had Little Chef before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so hopefully one and two are are great. <laughs> never had that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put Leon at number two because I've never had it. So <laughs> hopefully this next one's... So I'm going to put that at number one because I've never had that before. Um, some some people here are asking asking you to stand up. What, what why why are some folks um, asking you, know you to what? do that? They're asking you to ask me that because I'm in a wheelchair. So um, Ooh. you know, it's them homosexuals. They're on here and they like to bully me because they know what I'm on here to do. They go on people's live and then tell them to ask me to stand up, knowing that I'm in a wheelchair. Something just not right in the head with them. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I've been trying yeah. to tell you this whole time. That's who I pray. That's who I pray for. Those kind of people. Yeah, um, that, that, uh, excuse me. Yeah, it just makes my ass itch. It really does. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I mean, I can imagine. I mean, that's being sort of in that situation, yeah. itchy, itchy ass would be. Yeah. And know, the craziest definitely. part about it is I can't even feel it because I can't feel oh. my legs, I can't feel nothing waist down. So I can't even feel my oh. ass itching. I just know it's itching. Oh, a storm. Something fierce. Well, well. Thank you, thank you for being on the show. I, I I ask one final question of all the guests here on the People's Talk Show Live, and so the last one I'll give you is: if you have a message to the world, what is the message you would send? The message I would like to send to the world would be: repent, repent, repent. That that was that was some that was some great advice. Hey y'all, one of my friends is selling plates in the DMV area. They range from like 12 to $14, depending on if you want steak or chicken. This is her uh, steak and mac and cheese plate. So let me know if y'all want to buy one just to support. It's like for her going back to school. And only send me an audio message because my text isn't really working. It's a no for me. Why is it a no? You don't like the way it looks? She got another plate. It's like an Italian one. I'm going to send it. That's one she just made for her family, but she said she's about to start selling it. That's why it's on a plate like that. No, I'm good. It's a no for me. Now, she has a baked option. That's the baked option that I just sent a picture of. And then she has an unbaked option. The little slices, like little um, bowls of them, are only 10 But the full pants, she said, are going to be 45 No need to send any pictures of their food because we don't want any of it. Thank you. Oh, my God. That looks horrible. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry, she's still your friend. She's still cool, you know, but... Mm. Cager. So I work for a queer resource center, and we get, like, a lot of crazy calls, but this is my favorite voicemail we've gotten so far. And stop. Message 8. Okay, this is Mrs. And I'm having problems with a, uh, a a gay person that I've known for a while, and he is bothering me, and uh, I would like to report him to you. And my number's and uh, I know that you uh, could help me so that he will not bother me any longer. Thank you. She called us like we were gay animal control to come remove the bothersome homosexual from her neighborhood. Just, mwah, 
Woo! Did you catch the part where she almost dropped a slur? She was like, I'm having problems with a gay person. <laughs>